What's up, YouTube? Part six. Parts day. Um, we've been waiting on various parts to come in throughout the last few days. I think the last video I did was on Sunday, which will be part five that is actually being made now. That'll be getting uploaded today. So by the time you watch this, you're already be watching that one. As for parts, we ordered a bunch of stuff and we have taken apart some stuff. We're gonna kinda just go over all of that, give you an update on the boat, where we're at, and go from there. Um, let's put this in the fridge before I forget. Ah, good enough. Anywho. All right, hopefully there's enough light in here. Um, so we got some parts for our boat. Um, we got a different spark arrestor, the proper spark arrestor, because the one we ordered is actually very nice and more, in my opinion, more heavy duty than this Holly one that I ordered from Holly. But I was having issues with the actual flange rubbing the choke and the choke would either be stuck in the open position all the time or the closed position and it wouldn't run right. So we had to get a different one. Bought this one brand new from Holly. They are very proud of these. These are $100. Uh, this movie's not sponsored and I would love to have a Holly sponsor. Um, it gives a nice sticker and some hardware. That's that. Um, our new pickup. I ordered this off of Amazon. We're gonna see how it works and how long it lasts. I think it was 40 bucks. The one I currently have is a 10 inch. I went with a 10 and a half. It got here in a day, I think, or two days. I think it was two days. Um, the other one, let's grab the other one so I can show you what that one looked like. That one was a mess. Um, it is just disgusting. I don't even wanna to touch it. Um, the float won't even move. It's pretty gross. I don't even want to touch that damn thing. Um, yeah, it's moving, but it's just completely shot. Um, I also have a very, very bad ethanol buildup throughout everything to the point where certain parts are completely destroyed. So the pickup tube completely broke. I actually just ordered one. It'll be here in a couple of days. I'm trying to figure out where to order it, size because they don't make parts for this anymore. So I did some research, so if you have a, I would say 80s to probably the early 2000s and your pickup completely disintegrates like mine did, I will be doing a video on that probably Saturday or Sunday about that um, and where to buy it, what I bought, the anti-siphon piece. I could probably reuse this, but it was, I wanna say six bucks for a brand new one and the pickup part that actually goes in this with the tube that goes down. I found another one, and we're gonna see how that one works, see how long it lasts. I mean, this one's from 93, both of these parts, so I can't complain too much. I mean, that's what happens when you let your stuff go. Um, I also have a really bad buildup in the gas tank. Um, I'll be doing some insight on that this weekend to show you what I'm gonna do with it. Um, Next, moving on, our thermostat in the boat is sticking. The engine is running, we'll go over that, what I did. Um, this is supposedly it, I don't know, it's sticking. Uh, it's, I don't doubt that it's not sticking, it's going up to, I didn't let it go over like 190 and some change, maybe 200 degrees. I'm not burning the motor up, um, even with the garden hose on all the way, still not keeping up. So we're gonna change out the thermostat. It's probably just stuck, but this was eight bucks um, from Rock Auto. So we also got some new spark plugs. We're we went with the Iridium ones. They come pre-gapped at 44, I think, because I double checked them with our little uh, gap tool. Check them all, they're all good. Um, the plugs in there are fine. I get it's running very good, but they are just rusted. They're rusted out. They look terrible from the boot in 
I know it doesn't really matter. It needs plugs. We got a set of plugs. Um, some of my vacuum hoses are bad. I bought a new vacuum plug kit. Uh, I think it was like 12 bucks. We bought a new radio. Um, our MSRA50 from 2012, probably ish, probably 2012. It actually still works and it's been in the beating hot sun for, gosh, I don't even know, seven, eight years, probably seven, maybe five. Because the cover was on it for a while and then it just completely disintegrated. Um, so we got a MSRA70. It has a Bluetooth in it already built in, so you don't have to have a BT150, or sorry, BT100. I was gonna go and just leave the RA50, but the screen display is so sun faded, you can't even read the damn thing. So I wanna just redo it and get a new one. Um, yeah, I wanna redo it and go from there. So we pulled new wire in the boat. We ran new four gauge marine wire from the battery with new battery post, ran it up to the cap that's up in the front, which is a uh, amp cap to try and eliminate the draw from the battery because the alternator on that boat, I want to say is 50 amps, I think. It's not very much. So less draw from the battery, the better. Um, I don't know if the cap is still good. It's working, it's lighting up, and it, but it's only reading 11.6 volts, even though the battery says 12.8 with my power probe. So we're gonna test that and get it back up in there and see how that's going. We'll do an unboxing of this when we uh, go through it. And I also got some teak sealer. We are not going with teak oil. I'm tired of doing the oil, it just doesn't last. So um, we're gonna do this. I have a very particular way that we're gonna do this that involves a shitload of sandpaper and probably that entire $60 can of teak sealer. I think you can get it cheaper on Amazon. Amazon and West Marine prices have actually been pretty decent lately. They're almost match. I actually went to West Marine to actually buy this radio from them because it was the same price and I could have my hands on it the same day and they didn't have it in stock even though they said they had it in stock so they left me no choice i ordered it from amazon and then i actually got it the same day I'm trying to support local business but they didn't have it whatever um anywho so we're basically going to wet sand the teak platform down after we buff out the boat with 300 i think 800 1000 and 1500 2000 and in between each coat, or in between each sanding, we're gonna do a coat of teak sealer. Um, it's the old school way of doing it. There's a forum on it somewhere on Team Talk that does it. I've done it once, and it looked flawless forever versus the teak oil only lasting a little bit. Um, yeah, so that's it for parts. I still got more stuff on the way. Um, we're also going to be throwing in my 1005 into the boat because the amp that controls the speakers don't, it doesn't turn on anymore. It was a cheap, crappy amp to begin with, um, is what it is. So uh, let's go out to the boat and do a little walk around on that. Alrighty, um, little cap since our last video, spinning the boat over. Um, we had a bad starter solenoid. I ordered one. I'll put a link in the description. I want to say I ordered it. I think if I can't get it from Rock Auto in a decent time, I look up the part number from Rock Auto and then I order it off Amazon. If Amazon can even get it, because lately certain particular parts I have not been able to get. Um, update on our cover. It's still, it's doing good. It's definitely baggy. I gotta figure out something better. I may end up going back to the old style with the pole and the straps wrapped around the grab bars. So it kind of makes a canopy over the back seat because it holds water here. But this has obviously helped. It rained like hell last night and there's no standing water. So I'm happy with that. Um, I think I need to just put more of these straps that it came with on. I only have two on the back just because I'm constantly going in and out of it. And then when it's hanging on the lift, 
it's gonna be kind of a pain in the ass because I don't have walk supports down this side yet I will when I redo the dock I'm just trying to get the boat finished first um, let's get her opened up Warm in here. Alrighty. Um, so we put our new um, starting solenoid in. I think I went with a Delco because I couldn't find a Motorcraft. I don't like putting Delco parts on a Ford motor, but whatever. Um, also, the coat that I did on the motor it's it looks great um, there's a few areas I still need to touch up and go back through I really want to pull that bell housing cover back off and repaint it but whatever um, I'm definitely going to yank the valve covers off cover, cover them up in some stripper get all this crap off get all the oxidation off tape all these lines cut them out and then uh, repaint them so I found the paint and we're gonna do it. So, I went this far, why not? Um, for the fuel line, don't do what I did. Make sure you pay attention to which valve goes where. I had the supply pushing side on the fuel pump backwards and it was actually pushing all the fuel out of my fuel filter back into my temporary gas tank. Um, don't do that. It took me like 45 minutes to figure out what the hell's going on. Couldn't figure out why I wasn't getting pressure and very irritating very hot fix that issue uh carburetor is mounted here's one of those vacuum plugs i was talking about i made a temporary one with some uh, heat shrink and i think i just folded this over and it worked so i got new ones this is the other spark arrester that i was talking about you see how much of a pain in the ass it is to get that off it actually rubs here because it doesn't have a deck flange and then it's wider, and this one's extra thick. So, yeah, um, I actually like this one. I feel like I could throw this one down the road and it won't break versus compared to the other one, but definitely putting a spark arrestor on rather than the old holly thing that I had on here because my old spark arrestor fell apart, the lid came off, and yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much it. We're going to take this belt off, clean it up. We're going to clean this up with some Never Doll. Get this all nice and shiny. We're going to yank this off to get to the thermostat in here. We're not going to do that today. Probably do it on Saturday. Um, and yeah, um, she turns over nice. Let's see if she starts up here. sitting. Hold on, let me set up real quick. All right, so got a little distracted. Family came home. Um, clear path to the steering wheel. Um, we gotta do something with this too because these keep leaning. I thought, I think it's half inch, half inch pipe would have enough stance to it, but this keeps moving. It's kind of annoying. I think I'm gonna add one more piece there, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Or maybe tie a bungee cord to it or something. We'll figure it out. Um, anyway. I start. We're only gonna run it for a second because the water's not hooked up. There's like a kitten. Uh, I'm happy with it. Um, just a matter of getting everything put back together. Uh, let's put this on here. Get some rains. Um. Yeah. I mean. I'm excited to get this thing back in the water. I can't really do anything until I get the tank cleaned out, which I'm cleaning the tank with. Um, I tried denatured alcohol to break up the carbon, and it doesn't necessarily hurt the poly on the polybutylene tank. Um, it did okay. Um, I got something a little stronger from my local paint store, which is called Mech. Um, I don't know if you know anything about Mac. Mac is extremely hard to get a hold of right now due to all of these shortages nationwide. So, um, 
I got a gallon. We're gonna soak the entire bottom of the tank and let it do its job and then flush it and drain it. So, um, but that's it for this video. Uh, we'll pick back up on Saturday and maybe put this thing in the water on Sunday. Take it for a ride, put a lawn chair in it or something. I still gotta order some stickers for the outside. This side doesn't even have one anymore. Used to have one. Um, I think the other side still has one. First Star 190 sticker here. There's no new one on the back. It's all messy. We're gonna pull this off. Give her a full detail. <laughs> Possibly considering having the top portion of the boat wrapped due to all the spider cracks. Um, I'm still waiting on our new fuel neck. Extremely hard to find a 3 and 5 eighths fuel neck. I think I finally found a Perco. And then I need to replace this section of hose. Got some build up in there. Might be able to clean it out. But it's just dry rot. I can't squeeze the damn thing. Um, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll get another video put up probably this evening. And another one. So, real quick, before we go inside for the night, um, we just dumped all of our soapy degreaser water out. Here's a look inside. Um, pretty bad tarnish buildup in here. Um, we gotta do something about it. The MAC actually, take it back, the denatured alcohol that I got from. Hey, get down from there. Get down. It's not safe. Get out. So we used this first go. It did a pretty good job. We lost three quarters of a gallon of it and evaporated. So we are going to go with this, which is mech. Methanol, ethanol, carrot. I'm assuming the ket one is kerosene, I think. Um, this should work. It's not gonna hurt the tank. It shouldn't hurt the tank. It's only gonna be in there for a short little bit and it's gonna Daddy. basically Sorry. eat all that stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, Bubba. Yeah. I don't know if you can really see that, but there's a massive buildup in here. I can't, I don't even know what that looks like, so. Um, I want to get all that crap off the bottom. And we can, our fuel pickup should be here tomorrow, I think. So we can get this put back together, put it back in the boat, hook everything back up. And fill her up with some gas to get rid of that gas cannon in the boat because I'm, I'm afraid it's going to get water in it and I don't want to deal with that because changing the water separator on here is a pain in the ass. Um, here's our old carburetor. It's still actually in pretty decent shape. I was surprised. I think I actually could have gotten away with keeping this one and not buying a new one I actually pulled the front bowl off and it actually was spotless it had a little bit of powder powdery residue inside of it but it really wasn't that bad um, some parts over here. I also got some more stinger cords for our new amp that's going in and I have a rubber cover as well for the new radio and that is pretty much it uh, Hopefully some more parts come in for the weekend so we can get a bunch of progress done. And we're just kind of accumulating everything in this box so I don't think it's lost. And I will see you guys this weekend. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.